Yeah, so good. They're all showing up on the screen. Yeah, so good. Yep. Please. Oh, shit. Councilman Kitchen. Yes. Councilman Morrow. Here. Councilman Secreto. Here. Councilman Van Cleek. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Here. Thank you very much and welcome to the town of Austin. Quigley's microphone is off. Good evening and welcome to the Town of Ulster Town Board Workshop for Thursday, May 2020. Are there any or changes to the agenda? None from me. Okay, no. is there anyone who has joined us via Zoom tonight that is a member of the public that has an item to discuss in reference to the agenda? In one second. No discussion. There is the, dis the agenda for tonight's meeting being shared. Um, I hear no no items for discussion. Uh, Ms. Reby, is there any communic are there any communications for tonight? No, there's not. Okay. Uh, we have a combination of public hearings. We have two for the abandonments of town roads, and we have um, several items related to town business. We will take town business first dispense with those and by the time we finish those it should be the appointed time for public hearing. Uh, the first item under new business is a motion to accept the resignation of a part-time dispatcher. This comes as we have had a part-timer re uh, uh, sever himself from the town of Ulster employment. May I have a motion to accept the resignation? So moved. So moved. Thank you. Roll call vote, please. Uh, that was John Morrow for a second. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Kitchen. Yes. Councilman Morrow. Yes. Councilman Secreto. Yes. Councilman Van Cleek. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you. Uh, the second item on our agenda is a motion to authorize the purchase of two police cars. Due to the current environment in the automobile manufacturing uh, industry, it is anticipated that anything ordered today will not be delivered until the late part of 2020. Given that the town of Ulster has a contract requirement to maintain mileage standards for the units that are used in the patrol, we will have two cars going out of service prior to the end of the year. Town is currently operating Ford police interceptor hybrid models that were recently purchased within and delivered within the last six months. Based Is Mr. Berardi on the uh, call? Yes, he was, I saw him. I, I saw him too, but is he still here? Yes, Supervisor, I'm here. Okay, would you care to comment on the performance of our existing hybrid models, please? The two current ones we have in service right now uh, have been operating since the beginning of the year, so we're about uh, four or five months into it right now. We haven't seen any issues with it. Um, I'm waiting for, obviously, I got to do a full year of use before I can see the, the full savings that they have uh, incurred with fuel costs. Uh, but no issues, and, and everybody's pretty much happy with them. Fantastic. And this uh, request for the authorization to purchase is coming with the endorsement of the Town of Ulster Police Chief. Uh, we have in our town budget for 2020 Fantastic. the purchase and of this, two vehicles. Uh, so may I have a motion to authorize the purchase of the two 2020 police interceptor hybrid SUV patrol vehicles I'll make the motion. Ford under the Westchester County contract RFWC 
$19,02.3 in the amount of $39,431.25 each. Councilman Kitchen makes the motion. We have Second. second. Councilman Kitchen. Councilman Kitchen makes the motion. Yes, I'm doing a roll call vote. Councilman Kitchen? Yes. Councilman Morrow? Yes. Councilman Secreto? I believe he's having technical difficulties. You're on film right now. <laughs> You're in a town board meeting right now. Okay, so we'll have to wait for Mr. Secreto to come back online to record his vote. You're in the meeting camera. No, over there. <laughs> You're on. Yeah. <laughs> what? You know, see? Yes, you are. Susie? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Am I on camera? Yes. Thank you. We are waiting for Mr. Secreto to come back online. Sorry, Bill, it's a butt call. Okay, seeing that Mr. Secreto has not rejoined us, we'll move on and we'll come back and get his vote later on the matter. Now, the next item on the agenda is a motion to authorize the sewer superintendent to purchase a spot liner system from sewer rehabilitation technologies in the amount of $9,230. Uh, the town of Ulster's sanitary sewer system is, uh, was constructed in the mid-1970s of asbestos cement pipe. And there are certain areas in the town of Ulster where we have high groundwater levels that have come to the point of saturating the pipes from the outside. And it is causing infiltration into the sewer system, which increases the amount of wastewater that the town is required to process at our wastewater treatment plant. Mr. Majori is requesting permission to purchase the starter package, the point repair kit, and the on-site training for the installation of the repairs to <coughs> start a, a program within the town sewer department for lining the inside of these asbestos cement pipes. In, a sense, in essence, what we're doing is we're sliding another pipe on into the inside, uh, expanding the pipe, having it adhere to the existing cement pipe with epoxy and sealing the holes. So may I have a motion to authorize Mr. Majori to proceed with the purchase of these materials in an, on an emergency basis? I'll make it tomorrow. Second. Kitchen seconds the motion. I'll vote, please. Councilman Kitchen. Yes. Councilman Morrow. Yes. Councilman Secreto just came back in. Yeah, I mean, I it does. Jim froze on me on the screen and kicked me off. We just the supervisor just presented the motion to authorize the sewer superintendent to purchase a spot liner system. for a roll call vote. Councilman Secreto. Have we lost him again? Okay. Councilman Van Cleek? Yes. Jim, I'm back. Okay. I, I vote yes. And Supervisor Quigley? Yes, thank you. And while we have Mr. Secreto, before we lose him again, can we go back and record his vote on the purchases of the two police vehicles? I'll vote yes on the vehicles. Okay, Councilman Van Cleek on that? 
Yes. Supervisor Quigley? Yes, on the vehicles. Thank you. Okay. Um, moving down to the old business on the agenda. Um, at the previous meeting in April, the town supervisor had presented the completed New York State Controller's reports for the town's financial results for the year ending December 31st, 2019. Under New York State law, the town supervisor has a requirement to present an accounting to the town board of the monies that have flown th that f uh, flowed through the supervisor's office in the previous calendar year. At the organizational meeting held in January of this year, the town board authorized the submission of the AUD document to be uh, the report that is required under state statute. So I have given the AUD to the town board um, at the pre previous meeting. I'm going to ask tonight for a motion to accept the annual update document. And in addition to the acceptance, the vote will be also for the authorization for the town clerk to post said document on the town's website for public dissemination. Councilman Kitchen makes the motion. Secret will second it. Okay. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Kitchen. Yes. Councilman Morrow. Yes. Councilman Secreto. Yes. Councilman Van Cleek. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you. I just have to let you know that um, Frank Petrimo is not available on Zoom, but he is watching live on Facebook. He wants you to know that. Okay, thank you. Um, at the organizational meeting, the town board adopted a fund balance policy, which required the supervisor to provide a fund balance review to the town board based upon the annual update document. The fund balance review was presented to the town board at the last public meeting. Um, in the fund balance review are three recommendations for appropriations, which I will not ask to be considered tonight. We will um, consider the appropriations for capital projects out of the excess fund balance at the next scheduled town board meeting. But for tonight's uh, meeting, I would like a motion to accept the 2019 fund balance review in accordance with the fund balance policy adopted by the town board as presented to the town board at the previous meeting. I'll make a motion. Councilman Kitchen will second the motion. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Kitchen, roll call. <clears throat> Sorry, you're breaking up. Say it again. Vote. Roll call vote, Councilman Kitchen. Yes, yes. Councilman Morrow. Yes. Councilman Yes. Councilman Van Cleek. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you. Um, in the springtime, the highway department goes to public bid for certain services that are required um, to complete the road rehabilitation programs for the upcoming construction season. Um, last week, the town clerk's office opened a public bid for cold planing road services. Lost him. He just Hello. stopped talking. I'm here Can't just hear. a second. Just a minute, he's, he's looking. Okay, I have a memo here from dated May 1st from uh, Highway Superintendent Frank Petromal to the town board. And it's for the awarding of bids for the cold planing road services in response to the request for bid TOUH 2020-01. Um, I ask for a motion to authorize the highway superintendent to enter into a contract with Callanan Industries, P.O. Box 15097, Albany, New York, for cold planing services for the town of Ulster for the 2020-2021 um, construction season as detailed in the specifications in the bid package. May I have a motion, please? Uh, so, Secretary, I'll make a motion. 
Kitchen will second the motion. Thank you. Hey, Councilman Kitchen. Yes. Councilman Barr. Yes. Councilman Secreto. Yes. Councilman Van Cleek. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you very much. Um, in 2018, the town of Ulster made application to the Environmental Facilities Corporation of the state of New York for a grant for the Halcyon Park uh, water tank replacement. As part of that process, the town board at the time in 2018 agreed to appropriate $178,000 as the town's cost contribution towards the construction of the tank from the landfill closure account of the general fund. The town was successful in receiving a grant for a much larger water storage tank at a larger cost because of proposed improvements to the Halcyon Park Water District. Nonetheless, I'm asking tonight for a recommitment from the Town of Ulster Town Board to appropriate the $178,000 that it had previously committed from the landfill closure reserve account to the Halcyon Park water tank replacement project in the amount of $178,000. I will make the motion. Councilman Kitchen makes the so motion. So we have a motion to accept the resolution as, as uh, submitted. Second. Or second it. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Kitchen. Yes. Councilman Morrow. Yes. Councilman Secreto. Yes. Councilman Van Cleek. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our scheduled agenda for tonight. I am going to proceed to the um, public hearings. And let me preface the opening of the public hearings by saying it has been the Town of Ulster Town Board's standard practice to accept written comments for up to 30 days from the closing of the public hearing. No action will be taken on the abandonment of these two public roads tonight. We will give time for public comment to come in if, uh, and we will vote on this at a future meeting. The first item is scheduled for 710, which we are past. It is for the proposed abandonment of a portion of John Street in the hamlet of East Kingston. Uh, this is a truncated portion of the map, which shows that John Street runs from the town of Ulster city of Kingston line along the Hudson River to uh, the intersection of John Street in East Kingston by the old Brigham brick factory. Um, this is on a portion of ground that is being, that is currently owned by Scenic Hudson. It is, it is scheduled to be purchased by the state of New York and turned into a state park. This is the location that has been designated for the construction of the town of Ulster's portion of the Empire State Rail Trail. Um, I asked, I have seen a Hudson on the line. They have made a presentation to the town board on this. Um, I'm gonna ask for a motion to open the public hearing from the town board. Councilman Kitch will make a motion to open the public hearing. I'll All second right. that. Roll call vote, please. Yes. Councilman Morrow? Yes. Councilman Secreto? Yes. 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 So ladies and gentlemen, the purposes of this public hearing, as I just described, is to take public comment on an action that is proposed by the town of Ulster in the abandonment of a portion of a public street called John Street in the hamlet of East Kingston. The property is being abandoned to the adjacent property owners, which in this case is Scenic Hudson as they own the property on both sides of the uh, public road. So from those individuals on the Zoom call, are there any individuals who wish to make public comment on this action? <coughs> Hi, this is Heather Blakey from Scenic Hudson. I don't have any further comment. Thank you very much. For those who are joining this meeting via Facebook Live and do not have the opportunity to uh, join in the conversation on this, um, I will again reiterate, public comment will be accepted by the Town of Ulster Town Clerk's Office. 
in writing um, for the next 30 days, at which time then the town will take and consider action on this proposed abandonment. So may I have a motion to close the public hearing? Motion to close the public hearing. Secretal seconds. Councilman Kitchen to close. Yes. Councilman Coro. Yes. Councilman Sorrell. Yes. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you. The second item on the agenda tonight for a public hearing is for the proposed abandonment of a, a road that is known as the Potter Hill Spur. It uh, is on Route 32 North, connecting a portion of Potter Hill to Route 32. It has been abandoned for a considerable amount of time and is currently uh, overgrown with brush. Mr. Viteri is the land surveyor who has called this matter to our attention on the behalf of the adjacent property owners. And I wanna give him an opportunity. Are there any comments that you wish to add on the presentation that you have in front of you? Are you waiting for my response there, Mr. Quigley? If you have any comments, okay, um, so I'll be glad to take quick, them. I'll, I'll give you a quick rundown. The Potter Hill Road Spur is established 1945 by James Lawrence CE. It is perpetuated in 1965 by Norman Ludecki and further on in 1986 by my father. The Potter Hill Road Spur is about a 400 foot spur of road between the Potter Hill Road and New York State Route 32. It was abandoned sometime in the late 80s and blasting was um, put within the bed of the road. So the road has been impassable for 30 plus years. Uh, my clients, Joseph and Cheryl Gaddis, um, are looking to take title to the road as the road bisects their property. They own both sides of it. Um, with that being said, um, it really has... It, it is necessarily a uh, not really even noticeable as a road and more or less a paper road at this point in time and has been for 30 years. Uh, we are looking to have the road abandoned and quit claim to my clients in order for them to move forward with revising lot lines in that area without the Potter Hill Road spur encumbering their lot line revision. Thank you very much. Uh, this proposed abandonment comes with the endorsement of the town of Ulster Highway superintendent. So at that, I would ask for a motion to open the public hearing. So moved. Second. Second. Mara. Mara. <laughs> yes. 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 Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the public hearing for the purposes of taking public comment on the proposed abandonment of the road known as the Potter Hill Spur is now open. Uh, public comment is necessary for the town board to take and make a decision and take action on the requested abandonment. Is there anyone on the Zoom call that wishes to make a comment on the record about this proposed action? Hearing none, I'll ask for a motion to close the public hearing with the understanding that written comment will be accepted for up to 30 days at the Town of Ulster Town Clerk's Office on this proposed action. So moved. Secreto, second. Okay. Councilman Kitchen. Councilman Kitchen. Yes. Councilman Morrow. Yes. Councilman Secreto. Yes. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the scheduled business of the Town of Ulster Town Board for tonight, Thursday, May 7th. Under these conditions, I'd ask normally for public comment from those in the audience, but as you can see from my other camera, we don't have anybody in the audience tonight. So if there's anybody on the call that wishes to uh, make a comment, I'll be glad to take it. Hearing none, I'm asked for a motion to close this meeting. 
So Mr. moved. I'll make the motion. Second. Roll call, please. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Councilman Kitchen. Roll call. Yes. Councilman Morrow. Yes. Councilman Sakata. Yes. Councilman Van Cleek. Yes. Supervisor Quigley. Yes, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our next scheduled town board meeting is scheduled for Thursday, May 21st. Hopefully by then the governor has relaxed his pause regulations. We are going to be able to resume our normal practice of having public meetings in town hall. Absent that, we will have Zoom perfected by then. Thank you very much and have a wonderful night. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you all. Night. Thank you. Susie. Susie, can you hear me? Yes. Thank yes, you so I can much. hear you. All right. I just wanted to make sure I got on. All right. Yeah, I saw you got on. Bye, Frank. Right. Thank you. Night, guys. Night. Good night, Vinny. Night, John Boy. Good night, guys. <laughs>